Kensington Palace finally acknowledging new images of what appears to be Kate Middleton out shopping with Prince William. The images taken on Saturday were obtained by The Sun. This is AFP, one of the world's largest news agencies, is publicly saying that Kensington Palace is no longer a quote-unquote trusted source. Issa Soros is out front. The Princess of Wales was spotted near her home on Saturday, according to The Sun's Matt Wilkinson. Yet those details fueled more speculation and conspiracy theories. Another weekend, another series of fake online rumours, this time drawing a firm response from Buckingham Palace. A royal source telling CNN that King Charles is continuing with official and private business. And the British embassy in Kyiv forced to go as far as saying that online rumours about the king's death are fake. It's all adding to an ongoing sense of crises and uncertainty facing the royals. It's been just over a week since this image of Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her children was released. The family photo, which was supposed to celebrate Mother's Day in the UK, quickly became the centre of a controversy over trust and image manipulation with Catherine issuing a personal apology, saying she edited the picture herself. Speculation also swirling about why she wasn't wearing a wedding ring. Buckingham Palace was already facing, at the very least, a health crisis, with King Charles stepping back from many of his royal duties as he fights cancer, and the Princess of Wales taking an extended leave after abdominal surgery. It's meant the royal family is perhaps stretched more than it has ever been, with just 11 working royals, and only Queen Camilla and Prince William as senior members representing the king. Combine that with questions over why the Princess of Wales hasn't been seen in public and calls for more details on Charles' condition. It's perhaps no surprise it's led to such a dent in public trust. This is the smallest crisis that the royal family has ever faced. In the past, the royal family dealt with violent death, abdication, infidelity, all sorts of sins and crimes and scandals. Making your family photos look a tiny bit better is nowhere near anything on the scale of what the royal family have had to deal with before. While that may be the case, the rumour mill only adds more unnecessary pressure on the Princess of Wales, ahead of her next public appearance, expected around Easter. Isa Suarez, CNN, London. Now, out front now, royal historian Kate Williams. And Kate, you know, you hear Issa's report, and of course this is the topic you cover. I mean, the Sun's new images of what appears to be Kate and Prince William shopping this weekend, of course, in the context here, is spread speculation, whether the images are real, the palace's response, no comment, after they were forced to actually comment on, on rumors that the king was dead, which is a stunning thing to think they'd comment on. I mean, does any of this clear anything up for you? Yes, this is it, Erin. The royals have been in crisis. The last time we saw Kate, this woman we're used to seeing immediately, almost immediately after she's given birth up there in makeup and high heels. We didn't, haven't seen her since Christmas Day and the internet has exploded into rumour. The Mother's Day photo was supposed to stop the rumour. It actually increased the rumours. They, they intensified. And over this weekend, we've seen a flurry of activity comments from sources saying she'll be out and about soon, and then this sighting at the Windsor farm shop, and now these photographs which have been published in some publications. And it does look as if this visit to the Windsor farm shop was real, that Kate is up and about. I do think it was to a degree set up a, a way of seeing her, but certainly the fact that now every photo that the Wales has put out is being doubted really suggests the problem that they have now with trust. And, and and this is the thing. I mean, you know, we live in a world where, yes, you know, you talk about um, infidelities and murders and all these things, but uh, a world of AI and uncertainty and Photoshop and what is real is what is sparking this crisis. The Photoshopped image released on Mother's Day is when all of, uh, well, actually not all of this, but a lot of this started, right? There had been a lot of speculation before what was wrong with her and why wasn't she talking about it when the king talked about his diagnosis so openly. In this image, with all the Photoshopping, it appears she's not wearing her wedding ring. And now all of a sudden, Something that was completely taboo is now front and center and everywhere, which is the state of their marriage. Stephen Colbert is out publicly resurrecting an old rumor that Prince William had an affair, and that is everywhere on social media. Here's Stephen Colbert. So, I think we all know who the alleged other woman is. Say it with me. 
the Marchioness of Chalmondele. <laughs> What a beautiful name. Now, there have been rumors and affair between William and the marching band of chicanery since <laughs> 2019. According to tabloids back then, when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. Aha, always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. Um, Kate, with all of this now getting such public airing, um, what is going on? It's a disaster. It's a PR disaster. The radio silence has a PR disaster. Into it, conspiracy theories rushed. And one of them was that marriage was in trouble. These rumours have surfaced before. Everyone ignored them. Now they are being taken to a degree seriously. And I just feel so sorry for Kate. She's been through surgery. It must have been tough. And now, really, it's very clear that they've got to do something to stop these rumours. An official engagement, an official photo, because there's all this talk about Kate, about her condition and most of all about the marriage, and that's hard. That's got to be incredibly hard. Uh, of course, as we say, these, these people, no matter who they are, they are human beings and, and people, as we all are. Thank you so much, Kate. I appreciate your time. Thank you.